The self-defense forces fight with National Guard near Slavyansk. The village Karlovka was shelled. The village Nikolaevka was struck by the launch vehicles from Milovoy Hill and Raigardok. The Kiev Junta army, under support of military hardware, entered Nikolaevka, started the street fighting. A few many storied houses were destroyed as a result of Ukrainian army shelling of Slavyansk suburbs by the launch vehicle Smerch. Number of casualties is being specified. As a result of shelling, the Nikolaevka thermal power station set on fire. Artillery of Kiev gunmen attacked the center of Lugansk. At the same time, the Kamennobrotsky district of the city was shelled. Peculiar that the position of self-defense forces are in 5 kilometers from the place of shelling. On 2nd July was attacked the village Kondrashovka, situated in 20 kilometers from Lugansk. 20 civilians were killed as a result of attack. Among them was 5-year-old boy. The Ukrainian authorities explained the attack as a mistake of the pilot. People of Donbas were asked to economize water because there was no opportunity to pour the reserve water storage basins. This information was given by the press service of communal enterprise Water of Donbas. It was decided to make forced entry resistant barrier on the administrative border between Kharkov region of Ukraine and Donetsk and Lugansk People's Republics. It was said by the governor of Kharkov region Igor Baluta. Ukrainian media informed that the concrete construction will be made in the region.